So good evening, Kutis, and it's so lovely to see you, Adra. And uh, we remember we were talking about leaf art. You remember? You can unmute. Yes, ma'am, I remember. So, and then you told that you're going to take all the leaves from your garden and uh, collect it. Have you collected it? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. So, are we all ready for today's session? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, share my screen and then we will start the session, okay? Okay, ma'am. So good evening, Kutis. Today's session is Inspiring Young Minds. We are in session 39 and today's topic is going to be leaf art and painting. And uh, I'm super excited uh, because, uh, you know, this is something which we have all done when we were small children, right? We used to take all the dried leaves and keep it between our books and see it, you know, uh, become flat. And uh, sometimes we used to draw on it, paint on it. Uh, we used to make an artwork out of it. And today I'm going to share all my childhood memories with you also as we go ahead with today's session, right? So leaf painting is a process of painting with dyed leaves. So when you take the leaves, leaves come in various colors, my dear children. It's not just that green color, but you will see them in light yellow, in browns, in orange colors, and various other colors. I'm going to show you the colors also, right? And uh, this actually started from Japan, China, or India, and now it has become very popular in Vietnam. And what are the two main forms? You can cut and paste the dry leaf or you can make leaf paintings or you can actually take the paint, apply it on the leaf and then you can make some sketches out of it. I'm going to show you all of that. In this picture, actually, you can see how they have taken dried leaves and tried to make some uh, animals and, you know, how cute they look, right? So it can be a nice uh, artwork for you, especially when you're planning to just uh, spend some time with nature. So there are a lot of leaf arts for kids. Uh, like leaf drawing, you can just start drawing the leaves and then you will realize the greens come in various colors. You can mix and match a little of yellow, a little of brown and then draw so many of them. And then you can also use some metal sharpies and create beautiful autumn leaf art wherein you can take all the dried leaves and start working on them. You also have a leaf drawing game. You have autumn leaf mandala. I'm going to show you a picture of that. You can make a leaf garden, a garland, and then you can have glitter leaves, autumn leaf rock art, leaf peepers, and autumn sun snatchers, and the stained glass windows, right? So leaf art print, if you can actually understand the classical uh, form, it was used as a lot of children's projects. So they can uh, create whatever designs they wanted. So here you can see they've taken some uh, gold paint uh, and uh, they have added a little bit of brown to it and, you know, uh, taken a leaf, painted it on that and then put it on this canvas and you can see it looks like modern art, right? And it looks so beautiful. You can use it as a wall hanger in your houses also. And this can act as an activity because many a times when we do this activity, you can see that, you know, each plant, the leaves look uh, different and you can learn a variety of leaf patterns by just taking a walk in your garden. Or if you don't have a garden of your own, you can go to a park next door and then you can just walk and collect the leaves and see the different patterns the leaves come in. And uh, this can also be a kind of connecting with nature. So, you know, you will uh, feel very nice when you connect with nature. And uh, then what you can do is like you have a dove roller, you can have a leaf roller and uh, then you roll the leaf so that it becomes a little flat and then you can place it on a paper. And sometimes you can use glue also. And then, you know, you can use some paint and get these kind of beautiful patterns. So what is the activity? You can actually collect the leaves and they can come in various sizes and shapes. 
and then you prepare the leaves. So uh, you can cover the leaf with a paper and then you can put some heavy uh, stuff on it so that it flattens up and you can paint the leaf or you can, you know, cut the leaf or press the leaf uh, and then you can place this leaf carefully on the paper. And uh, once you paint and once you keep the painted surface on the paper, you will see the imprint of the leaf pattern along with the colors coming onto the paper. Now, this can also be used on fabrics. You can use it on canvas also. And once you have given enough pressure to that leaf and you are sure that the imprint has been done, you can remove the leaf and you can do such more, uh, many more uh, leaf patterns. So that becomes the best part. Leaf impression painting. So this is like, you know, you take a leaf. This can, you can use some broad leaves for this. And you can choose any scenery or anything you want to draw or paint. And you can do it on that leaf. So that is another way of, uh, you know, giving your creativity into a different uh, aspect. And you can do this with different shapes of the leaves. Usually the hard, big leaves uh, are used for doing such art. And it gives a very nice look. And you feel nice at the end of the day when you see such paintings of yours. Next is you can take the different uh, leaves, the patterns of the leaves and you know you can stick it up on paper. Now the paper itself you can color it or you know you can uh, shape it into a different thing. You can have different textures on the paper and uh, you know make some kind of patterns. You can learn about the uh, kind of leaves which you have used. You can learn the trees. So you, this can really be a nice fun activity if you can uh, think about it that way. So once you take these leaves, you can uh, use a liquid glue so that the leaf actually gets uh, stuck onto the paper well. And once you can do that, then you can start decorating it however you want. You can keep a little distance between the leaves edges and uh, do it so that, you know, each leaf's pattern is actually seen very nicely, like you can see in this picture. For very small children, what you can do is you can take the leaf alone and keep it. And then use some colors and paint it over the leaf. And after some time, you can take the leaf away. So the leaf would come as a pattern with mixed colors outside. So that could also give a nice uh, shading effect. And uh, this also looks very colorful. And uh, you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, teach the children uh, different shapes of the leaves and how each leaf can uh, be drawn variantly. Right. And uh, this is another activity which you can give your children, especially if they are below five years of age, maybe three to five years of age. This uh, activity could be very nice for children. Then for many senior uh, children, so if they are in their teens and they know how to use the scissors or a little trimming tools, then they can uh, even do some leaf carving. Now, this is an artwork and uh, many leaves can be used for this. You can uh, carve whatever you want. And uh, this gives a kind of a more artistic turn uh, to your creativity. And this can be done with delicate instruments also. And uh, it looks very nice when you actually get to see this, right? And then you can even frame such work uh, and place it. So what does this leaf painting do? If you ask me, then, uh, you know, it has a lot of improvement in the hand and the eye coordination. So the child is actually working on the leaf and then there is a lot of, uh, you know, eye and uh, hand coordination. And they also understand how the leaves are pliable or the leaves when they dry, how they look. And uh, many such uh, questions which might crop up in their brain will uh, come out and, uh, you know, they'll be able to work on it. So this uh, also connects them with nature, as I told you earlier. And it also gives them a sense of achievement that they have done something with a dried leaf. And this you can see is like a leaf mandala art. Uh, I'm sure uh, we will have a special session on mandala because that's uh, the uh, trend right now. So here you can see after drawing the outline of the leaf, then you can draw some mehendi designs and you know, you can make it look as beautiful as you want. This uh, dark and light shades of the uh, leaf also gives a very nice look to the entire finished uh, mandala art. And uh, many people have vouched that this gives a kind of 
of a relaxation to the mind and helps them uh, you know feel very nice because of the creative effort they have taken and uh, they can also use their uh, motor skills so uh, this is like you know the large motor skills are used and uh, sometimes when you start doing it with very fine activity you can use it as a fine motor skills also and you can as well draw any shape of the leaves or whatever and uh, do this black and white kind of mandala art or even colorful mandala art so here you can see in the beginning i told you right i told you that leaves come in all colors so if you add a little yellow or a little brown uh, you can have various shades along with the greens you use but here you can look this is in boston and in boston we have something called the autumn so here you will see that the leaves change various colors all the colors of the rainbow you will see them in pink in orange in violet in purple in blue and they look so beautiful it's a breathtaking uh, you know sight so can you see these colors and there's a water body which is taking the colors of the leaves so this is very important my dear children for us to see and uh, this is so beautiful to look at and this is the most important thing which you should understand so when you go out and see the nature you will be able to see the leaves of various colors and various uh, shapes and uh, you know you should be able to identify the different types of trees along with that and become friendly with nature this is very soothing and calming to your inner soul so now what you can do you can do your masterpiece with your leaf painting you can either do a leaf art by arranging all the leaves together or you can use colors and paints and make those leaf painting and then share it with us this is your activity for the week and we at inspiring young minds actually give you a lot of arena to work around this uh, part uh, so that you know we can help you have a very balanced kind of life so you can like share subscribe comment and press the bell icon and at team red rock stars dr vidya smile dental clinic which is our youtube channel and thank you my dear children for joining in today and as always it's been a pleasure being with all of you so welcome mahak and welcome adara lovely to see all of you so how did you like today's session it was really nice mom and especially when you showed a picture it was really relaxing like it was really beautiful Mommy. and the leaf art is very creative like we could even cut shapes and do things it boosts our creativity skills so even i love to do leaf art and i'm ready with the leaves and paints which you have told show me show me i would like to see them Yes, Adira, you have raised your hand. Mehak, are you ready with your artwork? No, no, no. I'm just going to begin it. Okay, okay. So go ahead. Yes, Adira, you raised your hand. Ma'am, the art and picture was very beautiful. You liked it a lot. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. So it's very important for us to see next time you go out. you can see the different colors available you can see the different types available and it makes you look also uh, you know towards nature many a times when we are very small uh, generally when we talk about leaves we think it is only green in color right yes or no right and uh, in greens also we might say okay light green dark green that's all but today we saw so many colors of the leaves and it is all beautiful so uh, i want your creativity to go really wild i want you to draw you can try both of them you can either try the leaf painting as in taking the leaf you can paint on the leaf or you know you can do, uh, do imprints of the leaf or you can do leaf art leaf art means you collect the different types of natural leaves you press them keep them inside a book or keep a, a plain newspaper and keep these uh, leaves and keep a thick book on it in one or two days you will see the leaves becoming flat and then you can stick and do an artwork also so try both and then tell me how you enjoyed doing that work 
Uh, I always look at, you know, see, uh, we can see the work. Uh, we feel very nice. It's very nice. It's come out nice. But I want you to enjoy that process of doing that work also. Right? See, whenever you paint, you feel very nice. No, you're touching colors. You're doing something. And after you finish, when Amma or Appa or anybody, you know, your aunt, your uncle, your grandparents, and you show it to them, they say, very nice. Correct? And when they say that, don't you feel very nice about it? Yes? yes. And even when you finish it and when you look at it, even before showing it to others, when you look at it, you feel very, very nice. I have done so many nice things, right? You feel like yes. patting your back and saying, hey, good. So I want you all to enjoy that also, right? So I want you to enjoy the process, enjoy the creativity, and definitely enjoy the appreciation from others, okay? First, you do it for yourself. You make yourself happy. When you make yourself happy, you can make others happy also, correct? When uh, when people say, I don't know what to do, I feel bored. Many people say that, right? I have nothing to do, I'm feeling bored. So that's the time you can go out in your garden, collect some leaves and then do some art and then say, hey, I did something. If you make you feel nice. Okay? No, I so have a light to paint. Show me. Mom, I'm painting now only. Okay, okay, okay. Enjoy it, Mama. You enjoy the session? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, Kuti. So, as always, it's been so wonderful to sit with you all and uh, share a beautiful session with you all. And uh, looking forward to seeing your leaf art and your leaf painting. And uh, we will come back next Saturday again with another beautiful uh, topic. And I want you all to come. And uh, by then, I will, be want, I will be waiting to see your painting also. Okay? So share it on the group and uh, we'll enjoy those paintings, okay? So take care, have a great weekend and stay safe. I'm sure school has started. You all must have started going offline school. Uh, thank you so much, Mahek, for that heart. Very cute, thank you. And uh, so, uh, you know, very happy, uh, but I want you to be safe and I want you to take care of yourself. And uh, be very, very happy as you do these activities. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much, Adra. Thank you so much, Mahek. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye.